Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge playing in Seven Days to Die. I'm going to start a new series here. Uh, actually, more like seven days it takes to build a horde base that is good for a very, very long time. At least through the day, 21 horde. Uh, with just standard upgrades, uh, cobblestone and so forth. Maybe, maybe even uh, cement and reinforced concrete and that kind of thing. But here, I, actually, this is some video I, I, sh I uh, recorded on my... Uh, Killing Corridor, uh, day 14, Killing Corridor, a few months ago, just a little bit before Thanksgiving, and uh, I realized it's, uh, this is sort of, it's actually totally out of date now. I don't, uh, it worked for day 7, and actually this video, uh, I'm not going to show you, but it did work for day 14, but actually I'm going to show you a new uh, beginning, and uh, it will have nothing to do with the Killing Corridor. So let's get to it. Okay, here I am, just finishing up the last of those tasks. That you got to do right at the beginning, you know, build the build the wood frame, upgrade it, uh, place campfire, that kind of stuff. I see that's seven of eight. Uh, I thought I'd get through all that. Uh, you know, it takes the first couple of hours in gameplay to uh, to actually get this stuff done. So uh, I'm actually in a random gen world using the presets. So it should be. Uh, I think I'm 60 minutes uh, for the 24-hour cycle, which is really fast. I did that uh, sort of on purpose because I want these videos to be short and to see if you go with defaults, uh, what, what will you get? And then the Horde Knight, of course, I think is eight. Yeah, it's eight uh, alive at a time. Um, and then just the, uh, just the defaults. So we'll see how well this goes. But right now... I'm just doing the basic stuff, getting it done, and uh, try to find the first place that I'm going to spend the night, since it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Let's see what we can do. All right, let's go on the roof and see what's up here. Anything good? All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. no, 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 no. Vulture is not what we need right now. Ow, ow, ow! Oh, I swing like a caveman. That was terrible. Oh, boy. What is wrong with it? Let's try this again. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. There we go. I got him. And this may look a little weird, but I'm collecting a lot of yucca and aloe vera early because I'm in the desert biome for later. Uh, that, I, I know I'm going to need it for bandages and certainly for uh, hydration when you're making yucca juice. So I'm just getting as much yucca and aloe vera early on uh, because I'm not really worried about encumbrance yet. I don't have anything. I'm not really wearing any clothes, you know, other than this stupid fiber stuff. So that's my method here. And... Uh, Oop, there's a zombie. All right, I gotta keep going. Okay, no screwing around. Let's put down the uh, campfire and try to find uh, the traitor. Can't be too far away, right? Wouldn't be that, game wouldn't be that cruel to me. Uh, yeah, let's see. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, so sort of screwing around here. Let's, uh, let's try to find the traitor. 1.5 kilometers away, great. That's, uh, that's delightful. Oh man, I hate it when the game does that to you. You know, it uh, it really <laughs> makes it so much harder. Oh well, let's go find him. Okay, it looks like we got a trader uh, sort of marked on the map. We'll maybe go over this. Oh, what? Oh, oh, wolf! Yeah, run away! <laughs> oh yeah, that's see, that's why I hate it. One point three kilometers away, and I got to go through a wolf. Go over the mountains, get the wolf. Danger zone. All right, he's not following me. Good deal. I'm going to go around to the road here. Oh, there it is. That's the. Uh, it's going to be the first base. Carl's books. It's defendable. Got a couple of stories. Uh, for night number one, I think it's great. Probably has four zombies in it, uh, max. Two, couple of cra three crawlers and a big mama or something like that. A couple of bookshelves. Stuff we need to get going. We'll just go right in through this window here, I think, and uh, wake them up. Wake up, boys. It's in there. There you go. All right. We're going gonna to have to kill these guys. Okay. 
Okay, let's finish up this crawler here. I don't know how he hit me with his arms going backwards, but whatever. Oh, what did they just see there? The gyrocopter accessory schematic. First thing you get. First one out of a bookshelf. How delightful. Alright, well, now I gotta clear this place. Uh, even though uh, it's been a long time before I can build a gyrocopter. Clear this place and uh, make it home for the night. Sounds like somebody beating on the walls out here. Oh, another crawler. Just what we need. And all I got is this stupid little club. I guess I do have a bow, but... Ow! Damn it. God damn crawlers. These guys are terrible. Die by fire. Just die. I'm gonna light you on fire, boy. Uh, I don't light him on fire, but I got hit. Well, it's not, not so good. Keep going. I decided uh, rather than go outside every single time I needed to go upstairs, which is probably a little bit safer upstairs, I would uh, go a little ladder to the second story, and oh uh, no, there's a coyote outside. Oh, damn dog. All right, yeah, so go up here, clear this. Oh, it's a cowboy. All right, now clear this and then uh, clean this area up a little bit and try to take care of that dog. Alright, I keep getting hit, but at least he's down. So uh, let's get this cleared out and uh, get moving forward. Uh, oh, great. There's another person outside. Can you guys just take a break? Just trying to build a nice little home for myself here for the evening. What are you doing beating on the door there? Let's see if I can... Oh, shoot! Down. Oh, falling down. Run away! Knock him down. Run away! There's a dog out here somewhere. Uh, let's get back in. I hear the dog. Where is the dog? There he is. Hi, puppy. How are you? Want to beat on my door? Oh, uh, no. I don't know. Oh, I can't hit him. Darn it. All right, here's the plan. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna stand up here in the windowsill, and I'm going to uh, put down a frame, and I'm going to shoot the dog when he comes. I'm letting him break down that door first. Then I'm going to shoot him. So I just don't need to get beat up by a dog. And I don't remember how many takes, how many hits it takes to uh, to kill a dog with a crappy stone arrow and wooden bow. We'll see. All right, he's got to be just about through. Sounds uh, sounds like he's getting pretty close. And then we'll. Uh, oh, I can't actually jump up here. That sounded like he's through. All right, come on down, doggy. Here you are. All right, doggy. It's time to party. Hopefully, uh, if we can take this guy out quickly, you know, that's, uh, that's important. Oh, well, one shot in the butt. <laughs> that's all it takes. All right, well, we did a lot of damage that I have to repair, but I wish I had a knife. Oh, I can make a bone chip, I suppose. There we go. Well, my first meat. That's kind of nice. I'll have that for dinner. A little fresh coyote. Okay, I did some repair work. Uh, took out the stairs and put them back in the door that the dog broke down. But now it's just a functional door for me since there's no way for zombies to jump up here. The stairs are gone. But it's good for me to be able to defend this area. I, I'm not going to use this as a base even though this would be perfect if it were not in the desert biome. I would absolutely make this uh, a base if it were in a temperate area where I wasn't hot all the time. Which I'm not suffering from quite yet, but I will be eventually. So, uh, really and truly, the biggest goal here is to get as much stone and as much uh, clay soil as possible so I can make a cobblestone. That's the nice thing, is you can make it. You don't have to harvest it from the big blue blocks that you find throughout, because it would take... I kind of figure for a place like this, it's going to take 600 blocks of cobblestone or flagstone to surround it with the four layer walls that I'm looking for. 
the special slip slide walls I'm going to show you in a little bit. Uh, well, maybe not in this episode, but uh, it can leave a little suspense. But the plan is to get, after doing these repairs, to get uh, as much cobblestone going as possible. So I'm going to get to that. Okay, it's time to run downstairs and get me some uh, get me some stone to start making cobblestone. Nice thing is there's this stone right outside here, even with this crappy little stone uh, axe that I have. I should be able to get enough to... Uh, to start, I'm thinking maybe it's like it's a one to one ratio of clay soil to stone, so maybe I can make 40. Well, that would be really great. Each one of those blue blocks, uh, even with a crappy shovel, will give you a uh, stone shovel, will give you 35 uh, cobblestone. So it should be able, hopefully, I can make enough to get started. 35 cobblestone would be great. Speaking of crappy stone shovel, here I have mine. Just crafted it. I'm gonna get myself some, oh boy, per click. Yeah, I gotta get some clay soil. Look at that, per click is one. That's oh, it's gonna take forever and we're running out of time. We only have about uh, 45 minutes left in the uh, four nightfall. But there's uh, a good place. This isn't sand, lucky for me. There's just a little bit. Man, that's it's gonna be slow going. I'm trying to get uh, some clay soil. I'm getting a little bit of sand with it. That's probably good for later. I'm going to make cement mix. We'll eventually find some of those big blue blocks in the in the concrete mix bags and so on and so forth. But for now, let's just uh, keep going on this and try to get some cobblestone crafting overnight. Alright, well, it looks like we're running out of time. Oh, there's a deer here. Let's see if I can do this. I'm not a very good shot with a bow. This guy is not a moving target. I'm, I aimed way too high, uh, low, didn't I? Uh, okay, get him. Got him. And he's running away. Oh, shoot. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get him. That's stupid. I don't know why I'm even firing. There's just no chance that he's had a gun, maybe. Oh, well. There goes dinner. Oh, wait. We have coyote for dinner. Let's get in the building. We're about eight minutes from daylight uh, for night hours, and there's a mo out there. Uh, great, hey mo, what's going on? Just jumping, just jumping zombies. Yeah, I'm not even gonna mess with this guy. He's it's just too long. It would take me too long to fight him. I'll just let him walk by. He ain't gonna hear me anyway. And the night's closing in really fast. There it is. All right, well that was pretty good. Let's uh, let me craft some cobblestone, and uh, we'll wrap this up. All right, uh, we got uh, Mo and company cruising around outside. Let's see uh, how much cobblestone I can make. Looks like I'll be able to make do a little repair, but I think I'll be able to make 32 based on the uh, clay soil I have. Should be cobblestone 32. All right, well I got 32 cobblestone, which is basically one of those big blue blocks already for uh, for my building pleasure of flagstone in the future. I think we're going to end it right here as those craft and uh next up we'll have uh day two and see how far we can get hopefully you like this series uh this is a little bit of fun for me i've been playing way too much uh seven days to die of late like many 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 hours as my steam friends comment on all the time but uh, i'm enjoying it so hopefully you're enjoying this as well thanks for watching ciao for now